I just had never seen that one. I tried to walk up and just go. Because there's nobody there to tell me not to go. We're going to go ahead and uh, call the Board of Works public meeting uh, for uh, September 15th, 2017 to order. Uh, first, we have the reading and approving of the minutes. Um, I know uh, Chief Meeks, you were just mentioning uh, about uh, a grant that's going to be paying for a large portion of our um, uh, funds that are going out uh, today. Uh, do you want to speak a little bit about the grant and what the money's uh, for? Sure. I believe the amount of money that I actually we paid a claim on was two hundred ten thousand or somewhere two hundred three thousand I think it was possibly. Uh, but yeah, we received a grant. We've been notified back in November, or December, but since then we've received new radios, portable radios, and mobile radios in our cars, and they paid for one hundred fifty nine thousand dollars out of that two hundred three thousand. So really good grant for us, and then the city had budgeted the other the remaining, which actually uh, took care of, took care of the rest. So yeah, so we're really pleased to get that grant. Gotcha. Was this a grant that was offered to everybody or just something that you guys applied for in our department? It was through the state of Indiana. Uh, it's called the Edward Byrne Grant. It's a grant that comes up every year, but there were limited funds. Um, so we actually applied to try to get the full 203000 covered, but they covered 159000 for us. So uh, I might be wrong on those numbers. I know I'm real close on those, mm -hmm. but yeah, we were pleased to I think it left 79000 for us to pay, but we had already put that in the budget for capital outlays. So Nice. Yeah. Uh, and I know the overall total of our um, uh, <coughs> payments this uh, this term, this pay period, was uh, 277000 So that's a big chunk of that yeah, 277000 is actually going to be coming back to the city and grants. So it's, uh, we need to go back and... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I skipped over reading and approving the minutes. Um, do I have a motion to uh, accept the uh, previous meeting's minutes? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. All right. Now we'll go down to the payment Mayor claims. just gets very excited about grants. I do. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's huge. <laughs> yeah. That is a good one. I don't want to get excited about all grants, but that's a good one. Um, is there any other questions or anything about the um, claims? claims? No. Is there any questions, comment from the public? All right. Uh, seeing no further discussion, do I have a motion to accept the city's payment of claims? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Next, we have the blight claims, and we have. Um, let's see what the total is here. We have demolition and greening for Merritt and Son. And then the landfill. I think those are the two that's on it. Okay, yeah. <coughs> I was thinking that the total would be on the back. It's on the front. 37400 The 35798 of that going to Merritt and some excavating for the demolitions and then some landfill cost. Is that right? They've done a great job. I went and looked at several of the properties throughout their process, and they look really nice. Yeah. So if anybody gets a chance to take a look at some of these houses that were there and then go look at the properties now, it's amazing the difference yeah. that it makes in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a great program. There's, uh, I got more stories about houses coming down and kind of the <laughs> anecdotal consequences of it, but it's, it is, it's a very positive program. We get a lot of, uh, positive feedback throughout the community uh, about the houses that are being torn down. So a lot of it's a long time coming. Uh, is there any other questions from the board on the blight elimination claims? Any questions or comment from the public? All right. Seeing none, do I have a motion to accept the payment of the blight claims? So I move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, motion passes. All right, next, um, I know I spoke to uh, the city attorney. He's on a fishing trip, so good fishing to him up in Michigan. Uh, he had nothing to uh, report on the um, attorney's report. Uh, old business, we have none. And new business, we have electrical test by Nicholas Burrows. And That's in your do we have that test here? 
gave those in his packet. Is it my packet? I left my packet upstairs. Do you want me to go get it? I didn't realize that was in my packet. Sure. Yeah. Here, uh, you want my... <laughs> I don't know. Is my packet in my box? In your mailbox. Okay. Then it might be in my office. But my... In case it is. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> always dangerous giving somebody your wallet. Yeah, but well, are you all right? You can trust <laughs> Make it through. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and move to um, some the discussion with our traffic department on the changes to Duke and 8th Street. Uh, Todd, do you want to talk to us about uh, what we're looking at there at hey, 8th one Street? One of our uh, department heads the mayor kind of mentioned that we've had, if any, everybody's familiar with Duke and 8th, that if you're headed south on Duke, it flows out into that weird triangle oh. that's Union. Uh, mm -hmm. And it, it has been a pain for years. People, what they end up doing there in the left, they come down there and they, they're in the middle of the road by the time they get down there. Right, and it's a little confusing where you're supposed to be. You're either left to center on one of those two roads when you come across. So our proposal is, if you were looking at Duke, you're sitting at that intersection, you just paint down a an island and hash it and a couple of uh, directional arrows to keep them right of center when they come across. And I think Thank that's you. the cheapest. I've done the same thing. If I'm turning left down there, I'm in the other lane every yeah. time. And I don't, I, I, the only thing I, problem I can see is the guys at the brush will probably, hey, our semis are and we don't, they can drive through that hash to get that, you know, so they can get back here at that back dog. So right. I think that'll, solve the problems. It'll keep us out of hot water if there is a bad accident there and then, you know, somebody says, hey, there we didn't have this properly marked. Right. So, that's our solution. Uh, did the people I think it was somebody the other day about that depot on the same intersection. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did everybody get a chance to take a look at that? Did you see that, Jan? I don't know if you... Did you see what their plans were? Okay. I'll we'll make sure everybody got a chance to actually get a good look at that. Just, just yeah. for the record, none of it needs to be said since you may be approving something here. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. That's 7th Street. What's that? That's 7th Street. Street. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Is there any other questions from the board about, you know about how long it would take to get that done? We get down there, we can have it done in probably two hours. That's not acceptable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not fast enough. Yeah. It's very high <laughs> standards. <laughs> Is there any update on the um, signage right from the high school that we had talked about? Yeah, I'll probably do that on Tuesday. I'm waiting. I'm by myself right now down there. I'm, I've got a new employee starts on. That'll be a training day. We'll, I'll teach him how to make the signs, and then we'll go out and stick them up. And I did get a call from the dentist's office there. They're worried about. I said, "Don't. I'm not going to drive any posts. I'm going to use an existing sign posts. Gotcha. So we don't need any more sign posts up there on that hill. There's probably three or four on that side of the road now. So gotcha. we'll just extend the one that's got the uh, the uh, crosswalk." ahead mm -hmm. school crosswalk ahead we'll just probably raise it a foot and a half on its post and mount that no left turn into school and it'll be a symbolic and it'll say into school no left turn into school and then i'll probably mount one on that hospital sign i'll extend it up so that if you pull up there and look over there to that parking lot you'll see it see it there too mm -hmm. be facing to the west so. is there any update on washington that, like I said, when I, we'll probably go put the locates down on it next week too, and then they can call 811 and they'll come and check and make sure we can drive. We will have to drive post down there for the stop sign. Two, oh, the and two stop, stop heads. Yeah. We've got existing, actually I'll, I, I will take down a snow route emergency order mm -hmm. and put a stop ahead on it 
we've got a couple and, and on water there's already signal ahead and we can replace those with stop ahead symbolics but we'll probably have to drive four four posts for the stop signs and at what point will you take the light out I mean where it's not functional anymore and then you have the one in the middle of the intersection is that how well, you normally do it or I'd love to do it that way but we didn't really anticipate doing that that that's the way it probably should be done I just know that really gets your attention when you see yeah. that for a little while until people get that, adjusted to it. I'd probably have to get with the utilities on that. If we could get the light, they would have to string it and power it. Because of our bucket truck, I don't... As far as the masts, also the masts, I'm going to have to get with Kurt on that because mm -hmm. our bucket truck, we just don't have the ability to pull those down. Right. Because I'm assuming those horizontal masts are probably, gosh, three or four hundred pounds. Oh, I'm sure. I, think, I would think. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. but as soon as the posts are driven and then the signs are up, and then I will probably go to the Tribune again and tell them this is the date that light is going off, and it will then be a because it's already I've already notified them on a timeline between the 18th of September to the 31st of October now. Mm -hmm give them a big window but when I'm ready to take it all down I will give them a date okay. and we'll do it and I would say within the next three weeks that'll be done. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, is there any question comment on the uh, proposed uh, changes to Duke and 7th? Okay. Um, do I have a uh, motion to accept the proposed changes to Duke and 7th? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So the motion passes. And we'll go back to uh, the electrical test with, uh, I'm sorry, Nicholas Bowes' uh, electrical test. And I have that here. Um, looks like uh, part A was 80%, and part B was 91.9%. Uh, part A is mostly code, B is the um, handbook that's given out by the utilities for specifically what they want with their um, uh, service hookups. So. It's always fun because you got two guys on the, <laughs> on the review board that have some electrical background, so it's it's fun to really dig in and see what you think. you guys have any concerns with scores like that? Nope. Uh, this, uh, a lot of the stuff in the electrical test, especially the code stuff, you know, most people, I would assume you would, you, you, when you run into it, you double check the code, you know, so. Um, and on the, the more localized uh, graphs given by the uh, utilities, um, pretty well. any concerns with that. No. All right. Is there any questions on the board? Any questions, comment from the public? All right. I have a motion to accept the electrical test by Nicholas Barrows. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Is there anything else that uh, needs to come before the board tonight? Tom, did you have any more questions for about the side roads? Uh, my concern is <laughs> lining up motorcycles. Since I was in here the last time, there's five motorcycle clubs that support and sponsor benefits as this one. And they're all coming. And my concern is finding some place for these bikes 
in the lineup. I didn't know if we could use Canal Street or parts of Second Street or Third Street. Do you know, uh, uh, Chief Meeks, if you know, uh, in the past when we've had uh, rides like this, what kind of anticipated numbers we've had, and if that's, you feel like that this one's uh, going to be better attended than the ones we've had in the past? I don't know how the ones were in the past, but I know I'm overwhelmed with the amount of people that's supposed to be involved in this. Mm -hmm. And the bikes, the bike lineup is my biggest worry about people. I mean, everybody else is going to be walking around. I've got all the adjoining property around me in my area for parking. I've done talk to all them business owners, churches. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's the bike lineup. The lineup are like to leave the, for a ride? Well, everybody that comes on their bike for the ride. The ride will be at 1 o'clock. Sign in for the ride from 11 to 1. So they'll park throughout wherever, and then when the lineup starts, then they all get in line? Is that what you're saying? Most most rides, they, they tend to like to park where they're lining up at when they, when they show up for an event. And with that many bikes, I don't know where, what stretch you would have without closing half a Canal Street down to be able to do that. Do you know about how many bikes we've had in the past for these rides, Mike? I've never been working when they've done, so I, I'm sorry, I'm not sure. But, you know, we were, I, we were just kind of talking, the three of us, while you were talking, too, and talking about those businesses right there, like the dialysis clinic and high positions. They're open until 3 o'clock. Okay. How about high positions? I, know, I, I think, think Mike got uh, some of the parking with high positions. But, but my concern would be the lineup itself. What would you guess is like how many, how up the space he'd need for that? Well, I spoke to, my cousin just did a ride benefit in Lowesport. I spoke to 45 riders was there, that was there. There was three chapters involved. Every one of them said they would be there. The chapter presidents, stated that their entire club will be there. I have no clue. Are you talking 150 or 400? I have no clue. Absolutely done. Hmm. But I have spoken to... I've spoken to over 150 bikers that are supposed to be there, just me talking to them. Can they not just line up on park on public streets? Yeah, they can down? park on the public streets and. Fortunately, where you're at, there's not a lot of, like, Second Street from, whatever that is, Miami to Broadway, there's no businesses really going on at that point in time. So you could line both sides of the roads, but as far as one single file line with that many people, I'm not real sure. So if they could line up along the roads, and then as you pulled out, they kind of all filter in. I think with the parking lots that you have available with Second Street, to Broadway, I think that there's probably enough parking on both sides of the road. And then later in the day, it might be worth talking to Ace Hardware as well, because they're closed, I think, at 1 or 2 on 3 ride, on Sundays. The ride leaves out at 1. Okay. Kickstands are up at 1, you know. But from 11 to 1, uh, finding some place to put them, and then lighting them up to pull them out. Yeah, the lining them up pull them out, I can see where it'd be a challenge, but I think there's probably plenty of parking just along the road. You line them up side by side, that's a lot of road right there. So far, both sides. Second side. Street to Broadway. Broadway, Broadway yeah. I mean, it's just public parking. I don't know why we, I mean, they couldn't restrict us from doing it. Yeah, the only thing is if you wanted to do, like, no parking in that, for that time, so that there's parking for the, the lineup, um, would be the only thing. Because if, if, if public's parked throughout there, that you won't be able to line up without blocking a lane of traffic. So you want that gravel lot by the aid. That's owned by Ole Olson. Is it? Mm -hmm. The aid told me that was all city property right there. No, that's Ole Olson owns. Ole Olson yeah, owns west that. of the literary aid is all Ole Olson. Which I mean, I don't know why if you approached them that they wouldn't let you park in there for part of, part of your lineup. And even on Canal Street down in that area in front of uh, Napa. I mean, they do a lot of the parades. They're doing the uh, homecoming parade. They line stuff up there, so. I just didn't think there was any parking allowed down Canal Street right there. Uh, you can park on, on that side of the road, can't you? Yeah, I think yeah, uh, yeah. the north south side. side. Yeah. The south side? On the south mm -hmm. side, on the eighth side, there's a few 
spots down there. But, man, I mean, really, I mean, if you got enough people watching traffic, you got a motorcycle only takes up, what, six and a half feet of length? You've got the back of the through administration, the school building, the back yeah. of the admin. They gave, they gave me that. There. Oh, me too. Yeah, and the thing is, I mean, if you're leaving on Saturday, Saturday at 1 o'clock, I don't think you're going to have a lot of traffic coming up and down Miami Street anyways either, so I really don't think you're going to have a problem with all yeah. of your bikes being all lined up and take off. That's not a problem. Right. Yeah. Or you could even have somebody come out there to stop the traffic. Not that, not that we advise citizens typically to do that, but if you need an officer down there, we can, we can even put an officer down there at, at that location too to make sure everybody gets out safely. Would it be possible to get an escort out of there, down Main Street? Our first route is going to go out Old Logan's Floor Road. You know, we haven't really got a full detail of the route, but I do know that that's the route that we're leaving on is down Main, out uh, uh, Logan's Floor Road there. That's wonderful. Remind me of the date again, please. Uh, September the 30th. Okay. At 1 o'clock is when you leave. Kickstands are up at 1, yes, sir. And Tom, it might be one of those things where they might be in different parking lots, but when you guys take off, they just kind of, this parking lot goes and this parking lot follows, you know, and then 2nd Street follows after that and gets them out there. What do you think, Mike, uh, if they have a, a police escort out there and during the time that they're lining up, maybe if uh, the officer on duty kind of has an idea that they can come out and kind of help them direct, what would be the safest? Yeah, certainly, yeah. We, we do those escorts out of Crown Town a lot of times four or five times a year we've actually helped those escorts out so yeah our guys can easily help that we can make sure it works out and works safely for you guys too all right thank you very much right. is there did you have any other questions uh tom um well you saw the trash can and the picnic table issues so uh, i'm just more it was just more on the bikes now okay so, I just don't want to stir up any trouble and do something I ain't supposed to be doing down there. Right. right. <laughs> Understand. And, and to be honest with you, we've actually got bikers coming from Arizona and Montana. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a long way away to ride a bike for a minute. Yeah, absolutely. They see it on Facebook. That's awesome. You know, so, and it's, mm -hmm. um, I had a gospel comedian contact me. He said, I've seen your, your benefit through one of our mutual friends. He said, I turn down thousands of benefits all the time because they're not of a worthy cause. He said, but I want to be participating in this event. He said, I will be there. He's going live on Facebook tonight out of Gettysburg, Tennessee or someplace. Mm -hmm. And I'm under the impression he has about a follow, 100 followers coming with him just out of Tennessee alone. Yeah, that's quite a ride. You know, it's a special guest, and he has he has followers from all over the United States that will travel to wherever he's at to hear his comedy act. So when you say how many people's going to be there, I know. <laughs> sir, I know we added another 350 pound hog. We have about 700 pounds of hog to deliver. Wow. If not, we're going to be the big enough. <laughs> we'll be eating good for a while then. Yes, yeah. yeah, so if you want a bag of pork, stop by. Gotcha, absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, there is nothing else to uh, come before the board. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you, folks. Thank you.